Hello, this is my introduction to GCSE Economics. This is an introduction to the OCR board. If you're using another board, you may want to check an, an, another person's video because I will only focus on OCR. However, if you would like to learn a few things that may be in the OCR board that is in other boards, then please uh, feel free to watch my videos. So let's move on. Today I'm just going to be talking about what's in the exams and what I will be talking about for Unit 1 as I will explain later on. So the OCR exam, there is no coursework whatsoever. So all of them is exam based and they all take place I think in June or maybe July. I would probably say June. So first one is Unit 1. Uh, it says how the market works. It's also known as microeconomics. So it's how a firm works and how it uh, establishes price, how the labor market works, things like that. It's an hour paper and it's only 60 marks. So it's a minute a mark, but I would say as you progress unit one and you find, to, you find doing questions much easier, I would say you should give yourself a five to ten minute gap to check over your work and that will ensure you get as high as possible in terms of marks. This only takes 25% of the qualification so please be aware even though it looks 25% oh it's not a lot it can really change your grades so that's unit one Unit two is how the economy work, economy works, and this is macroeconomics. So this is how a firm works in in the nation and how the government gets affected as well. So that's quite interesting. And this is an hour paper, and it's only sixty marks. So minute and mark as as well. But I would recommend you as you do more more questions, you find it's much easier to answer some questions. So you should dedicate five to ten minutes to just check over again and remember and okay I'll just talk about questions later on after I talk about unit two so unit two is the UK economy and globalization which is international relationships with other country con countries in terms of firms operating one country and how exports and imports work and how they meet our government objectives for unit three you will have to have knowledge of unit one and unit two so i will be doing unit one first unit two then unit three so it's a logical order and you understand things coherent uh, it's coherent and you understand things much better written pa it's a written paper and it's done for one hour and 30 minutes and it's only 80 marks however uh this test paper is much harder than the others and I would still say it's, it, even though it is a minute a mark I would say do the minute mark and use that last 10 minutes wisely in terms of uh, checking back don't just use all all the time to just do the questions this is 50% of the qualification remember that so this carries a much bigger burden than all the, the other two also the immediate gives you an advantage by giving you a pre-release study so you get some a booklet which you can read over and over and see oh i'm going to annotate this question this is the questions that may come up you might uh want to write down the questions okay well, uh, when i get to unit two i shall elaborate on what point i was trying to say about the pre-release study and what you should do to prepare yourself for the exam and for all of them it does say candidates answer all questions that is seriously important even if it's a one word on if it's like a sentence you have to write write down that one word it really will help so what we were learning in unit one is factors of production scarcity choice and opportunity cost approach to the economic pro economic problem markets demand supply determination of price in competitive markets cost revenue and profit productivity growth of firms rewards for rewards for labor so these are all the topics uh, I'll be covering and each of them so there'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, 
YouTube video on GCSE economics I shall be doing some are going to be longer than others but I will make I will not shorten the video just to make it things easier I will make it so you get a good understanding of that work what I'll also be doing is at the end of each tutorial uh, video I will give up some questions and some questions you could work on if you want and some questions I will work on and I'll go through on how to uh, approach it so thank you for listening today and I hope you watch my other videos thank you